Hello, I'm Andrew Rainer for Thistle Tavern, and we're back with some more Disney Lorcana Pixelborn gameplay. Um, today we're going to be playing some Amber Ruby Aggro. Um, the idea with this deck is just to be um, playing Protect, this, protect Lilo, essentially. So, uh, playing out Lilo using Simba and LeFou um, to make sure we can get more value out of Lilo. Um, if our opponent plays um, something else um, on curve, um, to be able to interact with Lilo. Um, and we've got Fan the Flames to do a similar similar job. Um, we're still playing um, Stitch Rockstar um, with our kind of low curve with our deck. We've got just in time to kind of curve out into our fours and fives ahead of time. Um, so that's the deck. We'll get into some gameplay. Don't forget to hit like, hit subscribe, check out our website thistletavern.com for all of your Lorcana singles needs. Um, and we've still running a giveaway. Um, we're giving away two full common play sets of the first chapter and the link to that is down in the description below. And with that said, let's get into some gameplay. Okay, we're starting. That's excellent. Uh, Shield of Virtue's other card does a similar effect. So we have the Lilo. Got a couple of ways to protect her. So I think we just want to mulligan those two, see if we can find another one drop. And we did. Excellent. So we can actually curve Lilo into Tibbs and Fan the Flames here, if they don't have a one. And they don't, so we can actually play out Tibbs and the Shield of Virtue. And the Shield of Virtue basically allows Lilo to just continue to to go every turn. So this is a really nice curve out. It's a shame this wasn't Stitch, because um, that would mean we'd have got Rockstar out on four. Um, but beyond that, this is a really nice setup for us. They were obviously playing Ruby, so we need to be aware of be prepared. Obviously, that's a, a fair bit off yet. So playing Ru Ruby Amethyst. Guest on. We have a just in time. Well, we're going to quest with Lilo and Tibbs, and I think we just uh, ready the Lilo. I don't think it's worth getting the Rapunzel out here. Because they just eat the Lilo, so Gaston has to trade with Tibbs here. And we're already on 5 on turn 3, which is great. Uh, essentially 7. They've got a Rafiki. Okay, interesting. Well, we don't need the second rock star at this point. So I think we just continue doing what we're doing here. Just try and get as high as possible before they, they kill Lilo. I'd imagine they'll have like a dragon fire on turn five. So if we can get up to 11 by that point, that would be great. They've just got a magic emitter and a cauldron, sure. So they're gonna set up for their late game engine, but we've got our early game engine going already. So they can't interact with Shield of Virtue because they're not playing steel. Simba's a good one. We don't need the Rapunzel here. We just haven't had a, a draw that's required it. So we can play Simba as not a bodyguard because uh, Rafiki will just eat him. So if they don't have a dragon fire here, obviously they had a Maui. If they don't have a dragon fire, then Lilo gets to, to go again. We can decide on the Simba whether we want to uh, get him to have another turn. Dragon fire the Simba. Interesting. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I think we're just happy doing what we've been doing. I mean, I'm going to save the stitch for post them having dealt with this Lilo. We definitely, definitely don't need a second shield. We're never going to have the resources to be able to make make the most of that. So bounce the Lilo, sure. 
we got if we draw uh, no because we don't want to we don't want to exert the, the Lilo. Hmm. Yeah, we'll need to see what we draw here. Just in time he's been awkward here just because we didn't really have a five that we wanted to play out. Obviously stitches to rock stars a, a six. Anyway, um so yeah, I think we're just playing out the Lilo. Um we can save the tips to try and get value off Stitch Rockstar. At some point, they're going to have to do something with this Lilo. Um, that isn't just bounce it, so. Managed to get us very far ahead, and we've not had to play out a Rockstar yet, so. Hopefully, we can have a turn where we get to Rockstar in to draw at least a couple of cards. Uh, LeFou, sure. I think we play out the LeFou, because that puts us to plus four. Okay, inking the Befuddle, that means there must be an Elsa. No, be prepared. Okay. Must be be prepared. Are they just going to let us go to 17? And they're on the timer. <laughs> they might not get an opportunity to play anything if they keep uh, roping. Sure. So we really want an inkable card off the top. Uh, that works too. So we play out Stitch Rock Star and then we'll play out Lilo and exert to draw a card. So we need another be prepared here. Dragonfire for Stitch. If they've got Rafiki for the Lilo, that could be inconvenient for us. Jafar, that doesn't do anything. Cool. So they're on top deck mode. I mean, their top decks are definitely more impactful than ours, but um, that's actually really good. Because this Jafar is only going to be able to get uh, two power. Uh, yeah, so we can do this, and then we can still. Uh... Okay, man. Why won't you let me do the thing? There we go. Guess shouldn't have um, tapped the Simba, but or exerted the the Simba. It did give them an opportunity to draw Rafiki to kill everything, or to kill Simba at least. Um, didn't actually check my resources. I had enough to do what we needed to do. So they needed to be prepared in that first card to deal with everything. So anything else they draw from here is only going to deal with one card. But if they have a uh, Maui, Maui deals with Simba, which was a mistake I made there. Um, Jafar would have been able to take care of Lilo, so that's why we readied the Lilo. That's an interesting decision. That's a very interesting decision. Okay, well at least we're... Do we even want to do this at this point? I mean, they need to be prepared regardless, so I don't think I do. I should have done the Lavu because it's just slightly better, but... It doesn't really matter at this point. This is the Lilo deck. This is all about protect the Lilo. We didn't say anything about protect the protect protect the Lefu. Like, come on. So the draw card. I need to ink and to be prepared. I 
Okay, drawing some more cards. So they've still got six resources. This is a visual bug. And they don't get there. Awesome. Protect the Lilo. Let's go again. So yeah, the consideration with this build was that we've got 20 good fives, which is why we're playing just in time. Um, obviously, we didn't really need any of those fours and fives in that game. Uh, we obviously inked like a, a Rockstar and a Maximus, but... Uh, so we're going second, so Lilo into Simba with Fan the Flame seems pretty good. Um, we definitely don't need both these fives, so I think we can get rid of Goofy and get rid of Hades and see if we can find some other things. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So, Ruby. Ruby Amethyst. So, Archimedes on one is kind of annoying. I think we still lead on Lilo, because we have a couple of ways to protect her. In... Fan the Flames and Simba, so we can just try and get on the board. And LeFou, actually. We've actually got three ways to protect protect the Lilo. To try and get on the board early. Gaston, sure. Uh, we don't need the multiple rock stars. Shield of Virtue out of a uh, Ruby Amethyst deck is interesting. Are they slightly more aggressive, maybe? Stitch is a really good draw here. Um, yeah, so I think we want to go... So if I play the Simba as a bodyguard, Gaston takes out the Simba, then Elsa gets to eat everything. Elsa's going to get to mess with our stuff anyway, so I think we are... I think LeFou is supposed to take out the Archimedes. Lilo's not supposed to attack. And then... I think Simba needs to be bodyguard protect Lilo for one more turn and then we play out the stitch so we can um, shift Rockstar onto this because if we don't exert this um, then Elsa just gets to tap Lilo and Gaston gets to completely um, take out Lilo which we obviously don't want to happen but if Gaston takes out the Simba then Elsa might quest then stitch Rockstar would be able to take out the Elsa on challenging next turn They have a Rafiki. That's the worst possible thing we could have seen there. So Elsa should be exerting Lilo and then Gaston should be taking it out. Yep. And... Yeah, I just need to take out the Elsa, and we're just going to have to make trades, unfortunately. It's just the way this uh, this has worked out. Because they get to keep the gas on, it's just awful for us, but we don't really have a choice. Because if we leave the stitch at home, the, um, we just get exerted, and then Gaston trades with us anyway. So, Or Gaston and Rafiki trade with us. Maybe that's better. If we have to send both of Rafiki and Gaston in. I don't really want them to keep the Elsa though, so. Mm. So just play out the Rapunzel. There's not a whole lot we can uh, we can really achieve here. They've just had the, the right answers to, to our threats there. Um, and we went second, so it's always more difficult going second with this kind of deck. At least we'll get to take out the Rafiki. So Rapunzel can quest 
Uh, we can ready Rapunzel, take out the Rafiki, and then we'll just uh, ready her again. Means a top deck Rapunzel's amazing. Um, that's basically what we're looking for at this point. <laughs> Ugh, the Queen. That's rough. Uh, yep, not a lot, a lot we can do from here. Just need to hope that we can... Okay, the Dragonfire on the Rapunzel is really good top deck. Obviously, they're filtering their draws. the debate between drawing cards and questing should always be drawing cards <clears throat> yeah this isn't isn't great I guess this is the issue because like we're probably gonna top deck a just in time here yeah okay um yeah we're, we're done at this point they just get to draw multiple cards every turn from here so now we'll try one more I think that um, it was just the awkwardness of them having the Elsa. If they didn't have Elsa as their three drop, or one of their threes, then that game goes very differently for us. Um, uh, Lantern's interesting, but we obviously don't have any ones. I think we just need to try and search for our one drops. Now uh, this hand's actually okay. Not sure if Lantern works with Shift. That'll be an interesting thing to find out. So if I can play this on turn three, that would be insane. I don't think it will work, um, but we're gonna find out. Cool, that's fine. At least we know. Uh, so we quest with the stitch. We'll play Simba Bodyguard. Hmm. Should probably lead with the Milan there, actually. Oh, I was so, so hyper focused on the trying to get the lantern thing to work. So we'll shift, stitch Rockstar, and then we'll play Tibbs and start drawing cards. Oh, goody. I just don't want to lose the stitch at this point. Um, if they have another Rafiki, that's pretty horrendous for us. So I want to make sure that the stitch stays around um, so we can draw as many cards as possible. We have a lot of ways to cheat things out and not a whole lot of things to, to do with our things we've cheated out, so. Another Elsa. We don't actually need any more resources at this point, so we shouldn't need to ink any cards for the rest of the game. Yeah, Maui, that's why we wanted to have the the bodyguard in play before doing anything with Stitch. I 
I guess they could not oh no they don't have the resources they could have been if they'd had the resources they'd be able to shield and have Maui kill two things pretty good use for shield and Maui it's like thud thud trade the two trade the two things just pay, pay some more resources and quest with the Elsa uh, I should have uh, used the lantern there Well, that worked out pretty nicely to get somewhat of a board back. I think I do just want to take out the Elsa. The Hades means that we can bring back um, either Maximus or Rockstar. And we've got plus four here, which is fine. I guess they're looking for resources for Be Prepared, so we probably don't really want to play out anything next turn. Unless they do. Okay, they've played on Elsa. Yeah, I think I just want to take the rock star and we'll just pass. We just can't play further into a be prepared, it's already pretty brutal. If they wanted to, they can eat. They can also can trade with two, two of the little characters. So, but we've just got to keep playing out to the board. And if they they have it, they have it. If they don't, they don't. But it looks like they do. Yep, sure. So play out Rockstar, and if they interact with it, then if they dragon fire it, then so be it. Um, but if they don't, then we're pretty well set up here. May as well ready the Lafu so they don't get value out of the Aladdin here. They might end up having an Elsa and Rekus anyway, but. They do. Yeah, that's not good for us. And we have a Rapunzel which doesn't achieve anything. Cool. Okay, let's go one more. See if we can find a matchup that's not just Ruby Amethyst. Because I'd be interested to see how it fares in some of the other aggro matchups. Alright, we need a much more aggressive curve than this. Uh, this is Ink. I think there's a chance you want to just in time Maximus on three. Ay ay ay. Well, at least this lantern's going to do a lot of work. Okay, so amber, that's at least something different. Amber into stitch. Sure. Um. I'm just going to play at the Lantern so we can play two things next turn. Or we can play just in time and get the Maximus out. Just have a huge body for them to interact with. I think I just want to play these out as soon as possible just so I've got inkable cards to be able to make other plays. Simba. Yep. I 
We'll just leave him in face-up mode. I don't want to play out the stitch yet, I don't think. I could have lanterned it in, but I think I just want to hold. See if we can get value off the Maximus. They might want to just keep uh, keep pressure up and exert both. I don't know if we saw the other colour. I didn't notice the other inkable card they'd used. Steel. Okay. Okay, cool. That works. Smash the Maximus. Oh, dear friend. That worked out quite nicely. Quite nicely indeed. And then we'll lantern out Alilo. I'm just gonna I'm not gonna ink anything at this point because we can play out everything. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um that wasn't much of a game. Let's try one more. They, they, they tried to stop the Maximus trading with the Simba um, by playing the Smash, and then I just had the I had the one punish. So we're going second. Uh, this hand seems okay. Uh, I really don't think these Goofies should be in here. My my main takeaway from these games so far. So Lilo into Simba or LeFou. Um, it's going to be pretty good here. I would hope. They've got a Maximus, so they're playing Amber. Amber Emerald, okay. I think I'm okay playing Simba Bodyguard here and doing this because they're gonna have to do like trade both of these into here to get rid of it. So I don't think they're going to do that. If they have Minara or whatever she's called, the thing that gives plus two, then that would be kind of inconvenient. But Jasper. So Lilo can quest. Um, we can play LeFou to untap the Lilo. We'll get rid of the Fan the Flames because we should be doing something more impactful next turn. And uh, Lilo's not going to be questing next turn anyway. Is this Rapunzel? No, Goofy Musketeer, sure. Yeah, this is a pretty good, uh, pretty good turn because Jasper's going to stop Lilo from questing again. And yeah, I just have to trade off with the Simba at this point. Uh, what have we got in our yard? Just Simba and Lilo. So they're just questing for two. So what's the most interactive thing we can do? I think it is actually go stitch LeFou and then threaten playing out the um, Stitch Rockstar next turn. Flynn Rider, sure. I'm going to take out one of our things with Goofy. No, just questing. And LeFou can't quest. Sure. Uh, I think it... Oh, this is so interesting. Um, Stitch Rockstar is obviously really good because it's got such a big butt. Um... It, to give us value off Rapunzel, so I think that's what I'm going to try and aim to achieve here. Uh, 
Um, I obviously can't, still can't take out the, the Goofy here, so I think I'm just going to... I'll quest with the LeFou and pass, so I don't want to lose the Stitch to Goofy and Jasper. But Stitch can deal damage into Goofy next turn, and then I can Rapunzel the damage off of Stitch and then take it out. And that would only put them to 9. That's gross. Ooh, that's an interesting one. Does that do enough? I think it probably does. Well, let's just try and at least get some of their board away. Yeah, I think that seems okay. Like, that puts them back to plus two. We're on plus four. It means they might actually have to interact with us rather than just ignoring us. Um, the kind of hidden mode of these ready cards is to untap the bodyguards. Or, sorry, ready the bodyguards so that they're, they're not in bodyguard mode. That's an interesting decision to let me draw a card, because you knew I'd put the Rapunzel back in my hand. I mean, they're just not interested in what we're doing, so I'm just going to keep... Get to play out Mulan. Mulan will be a different challenge. Um, it will obviously make our board go... board be far more impressive when it um, does the thing. I wonder what the f other five they've got here, though. Kuzco. So they're going to go to 13, and then they've got Kuzco. Milan's actually really good at dealing with the Kuzco. Or we can just play Stitch and start drawing cards. Hades, LeFou, LeFou deals with Goofy. And then we can play... Yeah, okay, let's do that. So, boop, boop. Boop. And then quest Rapunzel. And then Stitch can deal three to Kuzco, then Tibbs can trade with the Kuzco. And that just leaves them with Jasper and whatever else they play. If they have another Kuzco, then we're in a bit of trouble. Uh, so this puts them to uh, 14 to 17. So we do need to deal with both. Do we have enough stuff to deal with both? I don't think so. We need to draw something, I guess. Uh, yeah, we don't have enough power to... Uh, no, LeFou can ready the Stitch to deal enough damage. Yeah, okay, that's what we can do. So yeah, LeFou gets to ready Stitch, get to draw a card, exerting him, and then Stitch and Rapunzel get to take out the Jasper, and then we get to play out more stuff. It's a real shame it's only plus nine. That's really unfortunate. Because any un or any readied character is going to be good enough. Genie, bounce the stitch, sure. That'll do it. Yeah, we've got no no shenanigans. We can't interact with uh, that one anyway. Uh, I mean, we'll have a we'll draw two cards and see if we find anything interesting. Don't think there's any weird cards that can interact with anything. No. That was close. 
One well-timed mother knows best. Cool. Um, so, yeah, that's that's this deck that we, we created. Um, I think I would take out the Goofy Musketeers. I don't think it's necessary. Just in times, maybe not necessary either. Uh, maybe you want more um, cheap characters um, to uh, make more of Stitch Rockstar. Um, obviously, we had the theme of trying to uh, make the most out of basically keeping Lilo safe um, so it might be we want things like be our guest it might be where we want things like uh, we might just want thing characters like Donald Duck that's got a slightly bigger a bigger butt um, to be able to help interact with things um, Minnie Mouse is another good one is a one one drop character um, that can help there um, but yeah there's definitely options here I think there's um, potentially something to work with here, but um, yeah, there's definitely changes I would make. I mean, Goofy just didn't... I, ne I never wanted to play the Goofy um, because Maximus is just better um, and I don't really want to pay five for a bodyguard if it's not Maximus. Um, the just-in-time was really awkward because it's not inkable. Um, the Lantern was actually really good, um, so that's promising. Um, yeah, I definitely want some level of other Either other characters or other interaction, maybe it's right to have a couple of copies of like Dragonfire or something just to be able to try and interact. Maybe Maui's better, um, just to be able to interact with like our opposing characters. Um, so maybe something like uh, that's 58. So yeah, maybe something like this. So it's a bit more aggressive, and we've still got the top level curve. Lantern's still going to do a lot of work. And um, we're still trying to protect the the high lower characters um, that are played early, um, but we've still got some level of interaction up top. Yeah, I think that's probably where I would I would uh, probably look to, to play with this next. But um, yeah, thanks very much for watching, everyone. Um, don't forget to hit like, hit subscribe, um, check our website thistletavern.com for all of your Lorcana singles needs, um, and check out the giveaway down in the description below where we're giving away two full common play sets of Lorcana the first chapter. Thanks very much again for watching, and we'll catch you next time.